Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday or wherever this video does find you. Hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. We are on the ride of a lifetime here, ladies and gentlemen, an absolute ride of a lifetime. And I'm just so excited to be bringing you along for it. Uh, we got a lot to talk about today. We got some insane news. We, it just so much. All right, so let's just get into it. Thing number one I wanted to do really quick before we get into the news is more news. Micah uploaded his uh, YouTube Championships Part 2, and don't worry, I'm not going to ruin it. I know a lot of you guys say you hover your finger above the pause button because old Nate Edwards in golf has a bad history of spoiling endings. I've learned my lesson, but also I haven't even come close to finishing the video. Two and a half hours long of YouTube golfing goodness. And let me tell you, if you haven't started the video yet, I am enjoying this one way more than the first one. I don't know why. Like, nothing against the ending. I think I like the Brian Bros so much. Like, I really, really do. And that's not just because of what we're gonna talk about in a second. I think I really genuinely like these guys because I'm a Canadian, right? I'm a Canadian that grew up playing all the sports in the world, Canadian sports, playing rink hockey with my buddies, and I grew up playing rugby and all these things where you're just chirping all the time. Like you're just constantly berating each other and chirping and kind of like sarcastic comments. And so when I see Mac Boucher and when I see Wesley Bryan, and even George to some extent, just out there letting them fly, like, some of these guys in YouTube golf try to chirp and it just doesn't work. And some of these guys really know what they're doing and it's entertaining as heck. And I don't know, I'm like two holes in, but I'm enjoying the absolute heck of it, out of it. <clears throat> so be sure, go check it out. Busted Jack, love those guys as well. Something about Cole is just so soothing to watch and listen to him talk. It's like listening to him talk is like drinking scotch and like laying on velvet sheets. Like that's how it feels listening to that guy talk. So very happy he's in the video as well. Great, great piece of content. Go check it out. <laughs> Thing number two, boy, oh boy. We asked and we received, and that just seems to happen to me, and it's crazy, and I can't believe it, because started this channel six months ago. Keep saying that. Crazy, almost seven months ago now. Uh, I posted in my last video that the Ryan Bros are hosting a tournament in Aiken, South Carolina. That's super awesome. Look what I got. Look at the comment on this video. I said that I'd be interested in maybe coming down back. Wesley Bryan himself, remember that guy who won on the PGA Tour? Yeah, comments on the video and invites me down, comp the entry fee. Let me tell you, I posted this in my Instagram story. I got 75 DMs in the first 10 minutes trying to fill a team. It's been an hour and I think I filled the team that like legitimately we, like we're going to win. Like we're going to win. And <laughs> I'm just gonna be the water boy. Like I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna be the water boy on this team but it's exciting. I have some heavy hitters who are potentially on this team. And yeah, it's gonna be exciting. So that's news. I'm going down to, I'm gonna be going down to Aiken, South Carolina to play in the Brian Bros tournament. I mean, what world are we living in right now? Nate Edwards in golf gets an invite from the guy who won on the PGA Tour to go to his tournament in Aiken, South Carolina. I keep saying Aiken, South Carolina. I Not only have I never been to South Carolina, I've never been to North Carolina. I don't, Aiken, I don't know what I'm talking about. Apparently it's a great golf course. A couple people I know have played it, so they liked it. Very exciting. So I'm stoked for that. Of course, I'm going to be bringing you guys along on the ride. There's a lot more of this to come this year. We have a huge, huge, huge blow your face off announcement coming July 1st. You guys know that. Literally my entire life in this last six months has been flipped on its head and changed forever. And things like this just keep happening, man. And it's so exciting. And I want, like, this is a huge thing for me. Like, I love the YouTube news and I'm going to keep doing that but I also love playing golf and I want to take advantage of all these opportunities. And it is just, it's just gonna blow your mind what's coming down the pipeline for us in this channel. So I'm so happy you guys are a part of it. Part of this playing golf on camera thing, uh, I'm working on my game. I really, really am. And we had a massive breakthrough today. And again, if you are a golfer, this isn't hyperbole. And you'll understand that my life just changed forever. Like literally, I finally, Finally, after like a month, I mean, I was sick for like two weeks, but after a month of trying, have figured out my golf swing to a point where I hit 60 range balls today and I did something I never, I've never done in my life. I didn't miss it one shot, one shot out of 60 balls. That has never happened to me in my life. I've only been golfing for like two years now, coming up on two years, never happened. All I've done is I took my right, so I posted that video where I talked about all the tips that I got from Grant. I'm not, I'm, hit, I'm not trying to necessarily just hit draws, but what that did for me is it taught me how to swing from the inside and I've unlocked it. All I really did to get it 
was I took my right arm, my trail arm, and I just kind of turned my elbow up. So I strengthened my grip with that right arm as well. And my, my left hand, I strengthened a little bit as well. But for some reason, just that kind of like internal rotation of the elbow has just helped me feel an in to out club path, or even just a straight club path, but an in to out club path where I'm just making contact with the golf ball like I've never done in my life. Today's range session, as you're seeing on screen, I was just hitting the ball in such an amazing fashion. So again, I do not know anything about the golf swing. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna look at it and be like, this is a horrible golf swing, but it was working. It was working amazingly and it felt so good and I've never had it feel this good before. So what a time to be alive because I get invited down to the Brian Rose Golf Tournament. Uh, I got massive news coming out July 1st. It's just, it's crazy. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Hit that subscribe button. That's the updates. I'll see you in the next one.